Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager and we're going to talk this week about how you enroll your Macs in the Profile Manager service. Now if you'll remember last time we set up Profile Manager and we got everything on and the service is running, if you haven't done that yet you may want to go back and look at the Profile Manager overview uh, screencast that I did to show you how to set this up. But we got everything set and ready to go and then we had these two websites that came up, one for my devices and one for Profile Manager itself. Now my devices is the site that we're going to use to enroll your devices and so your users can use this to enroll their Macs or iOS devices and Profile Manager itself, that's the website that you would manage all of your devices and profiles from. So what I'm going to do is I've got a screen share running. Let me just go over and pull up the screen share I've got on a MacBook Pro and let me just show you what it looks like to enroll in the service. So if I just uh, let's come down here I'm gonna pull up Safari and so here we are in Safari and what you want to do is go to the website um, HTTPS uh, with the colon and backslashes with your server's name slash my devices. Okay, you can't see it quite in there the way that's set up, but that's where you want to go. And then you'll log in with your username and password. And this would be the username that you created in the users field of the server app. So not the local user, but their actual network account that you've set up. And we just click on log in. And so it's going to say, would you like to save it? I'm just going to say not now and just let it go. And so it's going to log me into the My Devices website here. And the first thing I see is just the screen that says this Mac. And you see I got this big enroll button and logout button. And the temptation is, is to go hit this enroll button right away. But you don't want to do that because the first thing we need to do is actually trust the server first before we actually enroll it. So we need to install the trust certificate. So you can see here on this tab, we've got an extra tab here for profiles. If I click on that, you can see that I've got the trust profile for my particular website here. And if I wanted to, I could click on Show Contents, and it shows that it's a certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and just install this. So I'm going to click on Install, and now it's going to download this profile, and it automatically brings me into System Preferences and says, hey, do you want to install this uh, Trust Profile? There's two certificates. Now, if I want to, I can say Show Profile, and it's going to show it. And you can see it says it's verified because I, I used a third-party SSL certificate. And if you don't have one of those, uh, yours might say unverified. That's okay because you know it's your server, so you really don't have to worry about that. And so it looks like everything's set, and so I'm going to just go ahead and say continue. And what it's going to do is say, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Because once you enroll it in this, this is going to be a trusted Mac. And so I'm going to say, yep, I'm going to trust it and install it. And it's going to ask me to authenticate. So let me put in my password here. And again, this is my local username and password. And once I have that, I'll click OK. And now you can see it's installing the Trust Profile right now. And there it is. And you can see that the Trust Profile has been installed. It's verified. It's got all my information there. And one thing you'll notice, if I go back in System Preferences, now I've got this little Profile section here where those profiles are now located. So that's all set and ready to go. So let's go ahead and close this down. So now that I've installed that Trust Profile, I can come back to Devices here, and now I can go ahead and enroll my Mac. So now I just click this Enroll button, and what it's going to do is download another profile that's going to take me back into the Profiles area of System Preferences, and it's going to say, hey, do you want to install Remote Management? Uh, because what's going to happen, it's going to install two certificates, a Mobile Device Management Certificate and an SCEP Enrollment Request. And so what this does is this allows uh, your Mac to be managed remotely through the Profile Manager interface. Okay, so that's what that's setting up. So again, you want to make sure that's true. You can show the profile again, but I'm just going to say continue this time. And it says, hey, you sure you want to do this? Because it's basically allowing um, the admin to be able to remotely administer your Mac. So you're given control to whoever has control of Profile Manager. So I'm going to say yes and go ahead and install it. Again, it's going to ask me to authenticate. And once I've done that, I say OK. And now it's going to install these certificates. And so it's going to take a little bit more to install that. We're going to go ahead and let it go in there and install. And so you can see now I've got remote management uh, certificates here all set and ready to go. And you can see the different types of certificates that are there. And I've got a trust certificate. And you'll notice in the background we had some things change here. So let me just go ahead and uh, put this down. 
and you can see that now it shows that the Mac is enrolled. And you notice it's got my MacBook Pro. It looks like a MacBook Pro now. It's got the serial number for my machine. And what I can do as a user or as an administrator is I can lock my computer or wipe my computer remotely just by going through this web interface here. Now, I can always remove my Mac as well just by clicking on this Remove button, and it's going to then remove the device from Profile Manager. So there is the option to remove it if I want to do that. Now, let's just go and take a look at Profiles for a minute. And uh, again, you can see that we've got that Trust Profile that we've already set up. And the other thing we can start doing now that we've got the Mac enrolled is to start pushing uh, certificates to our devices and making that work. Okay, here I am back over on the server, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like once a device has been enrolled. So instead of going to the My Devices, uh, we're going to go to Profile Manager. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this, and it's going to load it. And I've already uh, logged in, so it should just bring up Profile Manager. And so here it is. And if you notice over here with Devices, once I click on Devices, you'll notice there is my MacBook Pro, and you can see that it's been enrolled. I've got all this information on it, and now I can manage it from here. Now one of the things I do want to point out is over on the My Devices screen, uh, on the Settings for Everyone certificate that can be pushed to your devices, it would normally show up next to the Trust Profile. In this case it didn't because I've already enrolled this Mac uh, into my uh, Mac OS server account to get the services on the laptop. So when you have a device that doesn't have that yet, then you could install that certificate and it would put everything on there automatically for you. But this gives you an idea of how to enroll your Mac devices into Profile Manager. What I'm going to do next is I'll show you how to do the same thing with your iOS devices. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.